Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today, we're going to be looking at this mammoth clip that we looked at last time and a new clip that the developers updated. So this new clip is literally eight mammoths walking on top of each other. Isn't that cool? They just, they actually stay on top of each other and they just walk and walk and walk and walk and walk and then they fall and collapse and fall down and go splat. I think that's really, really cool. It shows how this game works and, and how well it really does work. Uh, some games like this, it would totally mess up. They would fly all over the place, but Landfall is doing a really, really good job uh, with the physics in this game. I like it. Uh, pretty cool. So anyway, uh, we also looked at this clip here, and you see in the background that there is a blue dude, and that blue dude has some sort of weapon. You see way in the back, look past the mammoth, and look at that little midget guy way in the back. Well, I guess he's not really a midget guy, but he's just another little dude way in the backside. Uh, he turns, turn, turn the screen. Okay, there it goes. And now, so check it out. So there's one guy way in the back. Now, I did blow this up last episode, and a lot of you guys had some really good thoughts on what it could be. Uh, I had some people saying, like, a shaman, because it kind of looked like he had a, um, a skull on there. Some people said Indiana Jones, because it looked like he had some sort of, uh, um, I don't know, a whip maybe? But check it out. So I've zoomed in, and it looks a little bit different here, because it, it looks like he's throwing something, doesn't it? Like a like sand, or maybe he's swinging a big weapon, and it's just not rendering all the way. Or maybe, like, somebody else thought a banjo unit. Well, they also uploaded this clip here, and this clip is the Psy unit. Now, my thought is that this Psy unit could be the unit that was in the background of the Mammoth video. I'm not so sure, because if you, if you look how he spins and how he, he uses it, it doesn't really look like it's a cloud. So, this could be or it could not be now I'm gonna go back to that other clip and so check it out now do you guys think that this is the same unit as the last video clip was because he kind of looks like he's swinging something maybe maybe not I'm not entirely sure because that one looks like he's almost throwing like a dust cloud or something I don't know but it does look sometimes it looks like he's swinging a big blade hmm. anyway uh, we've got another unit here and this is called the jester unit so the jesters are the guys in the goofy hats and look at them dodge they dodge every single attack that comes at them I think that's really really cool unit and this one's supposed to be part of the medieval faction as well. I believe it was. Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't remember and I don't have the page up anymore. So they swing and go back and forth. Totally miss. I guess the the best way to take these guys out is probably uh, using archers. Uh, unless they can dodge arrows, which would be interesting. Oh, did they, did they kill it at the end? Did they kill the blue dude? I don't know. because Oh, they almost get hit, but they dodge every single time. That is awesome. A really, really neat unit here. Oh. No, does he get kicked right at the end? I don't know. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> he fell over <laughs> with a windmill attack. Alrighty, so for the first of viewer battles today, we have a PewDiePie LOL says to do the Battle of Landfall versus Nintendo. So, a uh, pretty, pretty strange setup here. And I, I, I kind of understand it, so we're going to go with it. It looks kind of cool. A lot of you guys voted it up. And my cat just walked in. So it is uh, chariots here represent landfall. And this is kind of representing the game Cluster Truck, who they did. Uh, then 30 peasants down here kind of represent tabs a lot because that's what, uh, well, it's basically what their logo is. And then we have 10 headbutters here who are lots of cubes. And a barrel roller back here who is the main developer. Nope, nope, uh, that is a nuclear business. So if you ever played that game, really cool game, nuclear business. Um, Allows you just to blow things up. It's fun. And then we have the super peasant who is the main, or super boxer, who is the main developer, Willem. So, uh, yeah, pretty neat, uh, pretty neat setup there. Uh, on the other side is Nintendo. We have one Axeman who is Bowser. Oops. We have one Axeman who is Bowser. Two Samurai Masters back here who are uh, Mario and Luigi. Four Cannons who are Toads. Two, Kondo, two Taekwondo or Peach and Daisy. And then we get uh, 30 peasants who are Goombas, 10 boxers who are Koopa, one Viking who is Bowser Jr., and then five headbutters for Yoshi. Pretty, pretty strange setup, but I like it. And I also put the two guys, or a couple of those guys, on this side. I really wanted to see him climb up the, the thingy. I always like when that happens. And now, I, so I also put in the chariots on the other side. No, this didn't go very well. Put in the chariots on the other side so they would uh, kind of flank around and maybe get some kills. Because, I mean, frankly, they're pretty bad in this version of the game. Chariots. See, the guy just died by his. He just straight up died. And now, what's this? Why do we have a barrel roller going up up the tower? What are you doing, barrel roller? How are you supposed? How do you roll a barrel up a hill? Yeah, ding dong. Uh oh, barrel roller attack. Wait, <laughs> he doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, he's gonna land on top of. 
that blue guy. Uh oh, uh oh. Wait a minute, where's the super boxer? Oh, the super boxer is dead. Oh, this. Oh, <laughs> nice hit with the the thingy. I was let's watch this again because that didn't take very long. Oh man, a lot of friendly fire going on already. Oh, and here come the oh, chariots. Are they going to take out the cannons? Maybe. Nope, they're kind of dumb. They're kind of they're a little bit on the derpy side of life. Um, it looks like the super boxer died somehow, and the barrel roller is fine this time. A couple more people jumping up in the air, falling down. I wonder if there's falling damage in the game. Hmm. Interesting question. I don't know the answer. Probably not. Oh, I got this guy. So this samurai master is on the ground. Everyone else. Oh, might have just got hit. Ow, get clobbered. The Viking comes in and tackles, and we have the purple people eaters up in the house. So Jack Henderson also said to change it up to us more of a Viking theme, or more of a Nintendo in general, not just a Mario theme. So he's got uh, the gravity guy, which is Kirby. Kirby's one of my favorite Nintendo characters. Uh, and then Fire Emblem Footman. We have just uh, a bunch of Footmen. I put in 30. Kind of even out a little bit. You see the, the battle cost is about the same. Uh, Swordmaster and uh, Ninja Sword, or yeah, N Ninja Master is uh, Link. And then we have Super Boxer, who is Little Mac or Captain Falcon. We have 10 muskets in the back as Wild Gunmen, and then two lasers who are Ness and Lucas. So if you if you played like uh, Smash Brothers, those are more characters in there. Uh, also just other Nintendo games. So let's see if Landfall can defeat Nintendo in this version. Oh, here comes the gravity guy. Uh, he told it. Oh, there he did. He didn't miss. He just he pulled him in. Okay, that worked pretty well. So we have a lot of blue guys left. The super boxer is going to be the interesting one here. Is he going to live, or is he going to die? Where'd he go? I don't know where he went. And one of the boxes just exploded. What's going on here? I don't. Oh, there the super boxer. He jumped up into the sky. Aha! Oh, he, he might do it. Super boxer. Red super boxer might win. Uh oh. Where'd he go? Oh, he's down. Oh, it's a battle of the super boxers. Oh, man, they got hit by muskets. Not good. Oh, look at him go. It's, oh, blue victory. Oh, Nintendo defeats. Now, the legendary, if you guys remember, I said in the last video, to just give me any battle that you want, and we're going to go with it. Uh, so the legendary says 45 samurai masters, and then electric 16 said to counter that with 10 M16s. Huh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Let's see what happens. My guess is M16s are going to totally dominate this. Uh, maybe, maybe not. They might get in there. I may, oh, it's going to be, no, it's not going to be close. M16s have wiped the floor. Ah, oh, I wonder, let's, let's half it. Now we have five. There they go. So this might be a little bit closer. Let's see. Let's see how it do. How do it do? Uh, these M16s are super OP. Like, um, I guess they're going to be in probably the modern war faction. You imagine taking a mammoth against those guys? They didn't even, five of them didn't even get to him. Can, can two win? Let's try three. Maybe three will defeat them. But yeah, mammoths against the M16s, that'd be awesome. Because um, these guys are probably the most powerful ranged weapon in the game. Or ranged unit, I guess they are, not just a weapon. So they're coming in. It looks like we do have a flank coming on on the top side. Oh, yes. Yep, they did it. They did it. Red victory. All right. Rise Alt says, a super peasant up front, five beamers behind him, and eight ninja masters on their flanks. We'll try this. I'm guessing the super peasant is still going to win. Uh, also, these, the the samurai, or the, the ninja star masters are really, really powerful, as well as the beamer. Oh, the beamers can't kill in one shot, though. Oh, this might be closer than I expected. Oh, wow. Red victory right away. Shoots. That was uh, totally not expected. I'm going to do that one right again just to make sure it wasn't a fluke or anything. These ninja masters are stronger than I thought. I know their weapon is really, really, really powerful. Ooh, nice beamer hit. Okay, there's that super peasant going, going strong on town, tackling, getting smashed, and all the beamers are now taken out, and the red victory again. Wow. Now, I don't think we're going to have any winners here, but Sean says to do 45... Samurai Masters against 45 Samurai Masters. Nice battle here. Oh, they're throwing the swords around. This will be interesting because this... Wow, did you see that guy's sword fly? Um, it. This all depends on positioning and how the physics decide to play nice. Yeah, look at that. There's It's one left. So that's kind of cool. Like every time there's going to be just a few left because it is so balanced. And the, the positioning is pretty much the same. Uh, wow. Okay. Oh, there's two... Two here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Get cut up. Uh-oh. Oh, that guy, he was he was hiding. 
He was pretending to be dead. Uh-oh. Yeah, there's two versus two again. Every time it's going to come down pretty similar. And now they're going to kill each other. Oh, oh, no. Red victory this time. Jimmy. Jimmy. The funny guy. Mr. Jimmy Elman. Elman says to do 200 Dark Peasants. Well, guess what, Jimmy? We're doing 199 against 45. Oh, boy. There's some lag coming in. We haven't played with the, the Dark Peasants lately because they're just so overpowered. Oh, look at that. It's like sprinkles on a cake. Everyone up in the air flying around. Wow. Look at that guy. He's getting put into orbit. Uh, this is kind of neat. I really, I really don't like, whoa, <laughs> hello. I don't really like the, uh, the dark peasants. Uh, these overpowered units are just, just like that. They're just overpowered. And, uh, it just makes the game not fun sometimes. Oh, look at this guy. He's still orbiting around. He's still alive, I think. Oh, nope. He's dead now. He got ripped apart. There goes another one. I think that's pretty much it. Unless, uh, they get taken below the map. There's a big orbit. They're falling off the edge. Is someone, did someone fall down in? No, nope, there's the blue victory. So they did it. Oh, everyone has fallen off the edge. How about just one dark peasant? It might be able to. I don't really know. I've never tested just one. Wow. It's because they can hit really, really hard. But he's got a, an absolute ton of hit points, so it might take more guys than this. I don't know. We're just testing. Oh, wop, wop. Yep. Oh, and he got thrown off the map, so I guess they are going to win. Huh. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's just chilling here. Like a dead man. Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I like that. You're just sitting there like nobody's business. Dead. Dunzo. Rest in pepperonis. Blue victory. <laughs> Shoot. They can't even They can't even win by throwing them off the map. So next up we have Luigi S. With uh, 20 archers, 5 energy sword masters, 5 chicken man, and 5 ninja masters, 10 cannons, and 10 catapults versus cheesy peasy says army of five samurai masters 10 footmen and one super peasant so i put the super peasant way in the background and we'll see what happens because everyone's gonna have to fight against the super peasant uh, including the energy sword masters who are also really powerful um they're kind of a combination of like the samurai masters because they can hit and kill really really quickly and efficiently but they can also be killed really quickly and efficiently oh and look look at this guy up top the super peasant just Flying up in the air, ooh, goes down for a catch. So the question is, oh, he's still having trouble. Here comes all the archers. The archers are firing. Doesn't look like anyone's getting hit and all the chickens are coming in. Oh, he's still alive. He's gonna take out the archers now. Took out a chicken man. There goes the archers. There goes a cannon. Oh, oh, he just got hit. He's getting hit by the cannonballs. Oh, and the, oh, that was a good hit. Oh man, he can't, he can't rewrite himself. He's in trouble. He's done, he's done. Super pes, ooh, dodged out of the way. Dodge out of the way. Kill him. I don't know who to... I kind of want the Super Peasant to win because there is so much against him right now. And he's getting rolled around by rocks. Can he dodge in? Dodge in. Ooh, that was a good hit. And another one. Get the, can the catapult. So it's just... Uh, wow, look at that guy. He's flying. We have a flying catapult. It's still... Oh. Looks like... Oh, there's two more here. Oh, beautiful hit. Got smoked right in the face. Let's watch this guy. This is where we need that first person point of view from. And boom, another good hit. They might not make it. We'll have to see, because these things don't... Whoa! They don't do a ton of damage, but they do some serious knockback. And if they keep knocking back, then it'll work really well. And up. Oh, oh, nice hit there. And, uh... Not, oh, 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 did you see that hit? Looks like there's this cannon still alive, too. Huh. Oh, and another nice hit. I think these catapults are going to win. And, nope, they missed that one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, if he gets close, he's going to win. Oh, he didn't get close on that. Oh, he's down. He's down. Nope, he's back up. Oh, we got hit really hard. He's going to win. The blue dude's going to win. Super Peasant for the victory. He gets knocked back just a little bit, but he's going to dodge in now. Dive in. Oh, and there it is. Wait, who's still all these cat catapults in the back? <laughs> just hitting the ground like nobody's business. Get wrecked and wrecked. Very good. So I've got one more to go today. It's all the time we have for. If you do have any suggestions, we'll do the same thing next time. Just put down whatever you want with a 30,000 limit and we'll have fun with it. So uh, Will Bram's music says 100 laser pistols. Got 40 beamers back here. 30 energy sword masters. And that's a total of 50,000 money. So uh, Sabretooth Gamer says 9 chicken man man and 5 beamers. I don't know if that's going to work, but we're going to try it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
And then we need the beamers in the background of this. So, could be kind of nasty. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's try it. And we'll see. Uh, my thought is that the chicken men men are going to dominate. Uh, actually, they're not going to dominate. We'll have to see, because they don't do very much until these beamers hit. And once the beamers hit, then it's going to be all over. Depending on how much casual fire, or uh, what is the word? Hey, how did I turn around all the way? Um, collateral damage, there's the word I'm looking for. Ooh, the first chicken man man is down, but we have a lot of chickens coming in. That's that's really nice there. A lot of chickens are coming in. Uh, but two of the chicken men, oh, all nine chicken men men are down. Let's see, can they do it? Can these five knock them back? Uh-oh, we got trouble. We got serious trouble. Oh, but the chickens are starting to go towards the other beamer side. We'll have to see. Oh, this is so close. Oh, man, I'm going to do that with... Let's double up the amount of chicken men men. Okay, 18 chicken men men. This is the probably the most that I've done in one match. Look at all look at all that laser fire and watch the beamers. The beamer is about ready to hit. Here it comes. Yeah. First, oh, the blue beamers hit. Red beamers haven't gone yet. This is neat. It looks like a laser show. Okay, so they're attacking pretty heavily. These beamers, oh, the first of the beamers are going now on the red side. And all five are still alive on the blues. Ooh, two just got taken out in one blast. A lot of leg going on today with all the chickens coming in too. So hopefully uh, the beamers can take them down before we leg out of the game entirely. The beamers are hitting some of the, the small chicken men and all of the big chicken men men. Okay, oh, there's another blast. Oh, and another chicken man man goes down flying through the air. A couple more going down here. These guys are really strong, the energy sword masters, so this could be uh, interesting to see who wins. I don't know. Who do you think is going to win? I guess the red team, probably. But look at all the chickens. So the chickens are going to be the turning point, I think, because we have a ton of chicken men over here. But uh, we'll have to see what these beamers can do. Go, beamers, go. Fire. Fire your missiles, beamers. Take them out. Take them down. Oh, there's some blue ones. Okay, there's the blue hits. Nice. Oh, look at the chicken men men fly in the background, too. Okay, we can speed it up. Ah, oh, speeding it up is so laggy right now, so we can't do that. Mm, I don't think we can do it. I think these uh, these five are going to go down too quickly. Huh, they did better. It seems like they almost did better. Oh, the chickens are going in across the beamers, though. See, the, the red beamers are starting to go down from the chickens on the far top of the map. And now there's only one one beamer left on the blue team. Oh, chickens! Look at the chicken orbiting that front guy. Boom, right, right in the sword, and now he gets cut to pieces. Very cool. I like it. So guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. If you did, let me know. Go ahead and drop me a suggestion of what you want to see in the next battle. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.